In this first video, we're going to be looking at uh, key types of academic sources which you'll be using uh, throughout your course. We'll look at how to evaluate information sources for academic authority. And we'll then look at applying the CRAP test, which is a tool that you can use to help to evaluate particular sources um, for their information quality. Some key types of sources that you'll be using throughout your course include things like books. Um, so books are particularly useful for introductory and background reading uh, to a topic, and you'll be getting recommendations on your reading lists from your lectures and your tutors. You can find books in the library collection using the locate uh, search tool. We also have available in the library academic research journals. Academic research journals publish scientific papers and it's where you'll find the latest original research being reported. Again, you can find the journals we subscribe to using the locate search tool and most of our journals are available electronically online. Another type of source which you're likely to be using is websites. There's lots of useful information out there on the web, but there's very little quality control of uh, what is available on the internet. So it's particularly important when you're looking at websites to check and evaluate the quality of that information. As well as these key sources which you'll be using, there are lots of other sources of information out there which you may need to use at, at various times. The important thing to remember is that whatever information and whatever source that you're using, make sure you evaluate that source to make sure it's of good quality and it's suitable for use in your academic work. Why should we worry about evaluating our sources and the quality of the information? Well, there are a number of different reasons for this. First of all, if we're doing an assignment, it helps us to avoid including inaccurate, false or incomplete information that we've taken perhaps from an unreliable source. It also allows us to back up our assignments with reliable evidence. So again, if we've taken the time to evaluate our sources and to make sure we're using good quality sources, we can be reasonably sure that we've got reliable evidence to back up our arguments. Also, thinking carefully about how we evaluate information uh, helps us to build our skills to sort quality information from the rest. And that's useful not just in the academic context, but could be useful just in everyday life and in contexts like business as well. So there are some good reasons to worry about spending time evaluating our sources and checking them for quality. So how do we actually go about doing this? How do we, I know if something is okay to use, for example, for one of my academic assignments? Well, there's a particular test that you can apply called the CRAP test. And this CRAP test is designed to help you to evaluate the quality of any particular source that you might be looking at, whether that's a journal article or a website or a book. There are five sections to the CRAP test starting with currency. So currency is all about the timeliness of the information. So when you're looking at a particular source, check how old that information is and consider whether or not you're only interested in the most recent information and whether or not you can tell whether that information is likely to be out of date. The next section is relevance. And this is all to do with how the information fits in with your particular needs. So if you're researching an assignment based around a particular topic, does the source that you're looking at actually relate to that topic? Um, is it relevant? And also, is it the right level of difficulty for your work? The next section is authority and this is all to do with who's written or prepared that particular source and who's written or provided that information. So when you're thinking about this look at your source try to find out who wrote that source what are their qualifications are they an expert on the subject and if you can't find who wrote that particular source then is there any indication as to what sort of authority that source has and how reliable it might be. The next section is accuracy, and this is all to do with the reliability and the correctness of the information in the source. So if, for example, uh, you're looking at a journal article, 
check to make sure that whoever's written that article has provided evidence to back up any particular argument or point or conclusion that they've come to. Does that evidence fit in with what you already know about the subject or does it contradict it? And can you back up um, this evidence or this information with other sources? And finally, the last section is purpose. And this is the reason uh, for the information existing. So this involves thinking about why particular pieces of information or particular sources have been written. Is the author likely to be biased in some way or and is the information fact or opinion? For example, if you're looking at a commercial website, is that website trying to, to encourage you to buy a particular product or a particular service? In which case, is the information they are giving you biased in any way? So if you apply the crap test when you have a particular source that you want to use for your assignment and work through these different questions and the different sections, it will help you to decide whether or not the source that you're looking at is accurate and is reliable and suitable for using in an academic assignment.